what is up guys here to do a little more experimentation on the bastardized water heater and I see you hiding behind the gates <laughs> so I got this water pump hooked back up that was sucking air and I already threw away the shitty hose that I had on there unfortunately uh, when I went to the dump so uh, I put a poly tube on there but I still have this nut that's been cracked you can kind of still see there are, is some air coming every now and then right there not as bad as it was so this is a better uh scenario than we had the other day probably for gallons per minute looks to be about the same so i'm gonna hit start at the same time as i put this in here fill about a gallon which is probably gonna be about right where the top of where the square the square section starts to taper we'll call that a gallon we'll just do the same point with each pump configuration see how long it takes so there's probably almost half a gallon it's taken about 30 seconds so it's doing about a gallon per minute because I think that's about a half a gallon maybe just a pinch over now my dog working again so right there, 42, okay, might do a little better now, let's call it, 46 seconds then, to do one gallon, so calculate that later. Maybe. Now I'm going to switch pumps, and this other pump, I don't even know uh, if it's going to pump water, so it kicked on, and I turned it on, but there was a reason it probably was sitting, was replaced, so... <laughs> But I took the top off and spun the impeller and got it to spin. I'm hoping that delivers some more gallons per minute. I don't know how much pressure these are meant for, but um, Surflow pumps, depending on what they're for, they usually can do a little bit of pressure. Oh yeah, it's doing quite a bit. If I held that on there, I think it would shoot off one of these. So these kind of pumps can do pressure, but its volume isn't a whole lot. So these kind of pumps, um, do quite a bit of volume. I don't know about re and reduce like that. <laughs> it's meant for three quarter, but uh, they're, they don't, they're not known for pressure. So huh. I'm just using what I have. None of these pumps are gonna be installed if I've actually ever used this machine for a water heater. Okay, now I have a submergible pump down in that five gallon bucket. And I bumped it on for a second and the hose whipped out. We used the switched surge suppressor strip here to switch it on so I could do it one-handed with the hand I'm holding the camera. And I'm gonna hold this hose in there. Now doing so, the pump's not gonna be primed, so I have a little lag, but I have the feeling it's going to uh, beat that other one. So, reset, put the switch, hit start. Already started the time, there it goes. Let's see how long it takes to do a gallon. Boy, there's a lot of shite in that thing coming out of there, huh? Man, it's almost full right about there. Oh. 11, about 12 seconds. Oh, look, it's siphoning backwards. Awesome. Unless, unless I got a leak. 12 seconds to do a gallon instead of 46 seconds with the other pump. So I am getting, I'm getting the uh, volume now. And actually, I just put in new water so that just proves that uh, the higher flow is still is uh, actually now removing some debris from that heat exchanger quite interesting all right guys let's hope we can pull off this test I was running the pump for just a few minutes and it stopped turned it off went to check the GFI see if it was tripped it wasn't came out turned this on and the pump started again so might have been the pump shutting off on terminal protection which would explain probably why that pump was changed out from that cooler so let's hope it runs long enough to get a good test I have all my meter hooked up so I'm hoping that the pump and the camera last got this hooked up got some glare so not so sure how that's gonna work but put this on local 60 Hertz uh, oh yeah we don't really have a baseline on the water because I couldn't run it but the water should be about 70, like it was that other similar day. Let's go ahead and start this. 
compressor did start. And, uh, PSI way down at 176. Yeah, okay, there it goes. It's starting to climb. Suction pressure. Everything's moved around on my screen now. Where's my suction pressure? Oh, it's not on. I don't like that. But suction pressure is not as important in this test. Suction pressure will come on the screen in a second. There it goes. 68, 68 PSI. Should be shown on screen if that's all working. 190 on the high side. Water temperature, 48. That's the, oh, that's my temperature blowing out. Oh, that's cold air. 48 degrees. So everything's remapped now because of uh, Dufone set up the test dose again. We'll get that mapped on the screen. We're at 212. On the refrigerant pressure, that's pretty awesome. So for shits and giggles, kick this sucker up to 80. Oh, let's not be set. It's gonna be do 70. Go ahead and kick it up for a little more performance. My amperage right now, 9.6 for the compressor and that blower. Pump is still running. And as you can see, that water is hauling ass. We'll have to calculate that later, how many gallons per minute that was, compared to the other one. I was at probably about 1.2 gallons per minute, or whatever it calculated to. Ooh, we're getting up there in head pressure now. It's going to 280, so let's kick this down. Okay, it dropped. It actually shot over 300. Nope, now it's going back up to 300. Let's see if I can go down a little bit more. Oh, you know why? Pump stopped. All right, guys, that sucks. Something's wrong with that pump. Uh, let the pump cool down a little more. I couldn't even get a test. The water temperature, it's a little under 100 degrees. Dang, that sucks more than a Goodman. Oh, that means I'm really mad. So I took this pump apart, just been blowing it out, pushing some oil down in the bearings. It looks like water indeed got past the seal. It was filling up the chamber there. Look at that, so imagine a pocket of air is probably what keeps most of the water out, but I don't know, man, that seal probably toast right there. I'm gonna try to uh, polish the shaft a little bit, see if maybe I can get this thing to run again. Maybe just long enough to get a test, but basically other than that, this pump is toast. I took this motor apart, took the bearing caps off, polished the shafts. They're just sleeve bearings, so I polished them inside there, put some oil, zoom oil in there, moved the washer to kind of shift the armature just a little bit, just to kind of hopefully displace this grooves out of where it was here, so hopefully this little double lip seal will maybe not let the water gush in when I put it back together. It does seem to be starting now. And I just slung the nylog blue that I put on there. This is going to be funny, but I'm putting Nylog Blue on here. It's really high viscosity oils, all that is. Forms a hydraulic seal, is what they say. It never gets hard. So I'm putting that on there before I put it in there. I just want this to hopefully run long enough to do a test. Okay. Success for now. The pump is running again. I also have the pump held up to the top of the water with a uh, bungee cord. So that it will... Uh, not uh, be submerged. Readjust that water return there and then we're gonna start it up and see how it goes. You see this is sucking in a bit of uh, air but it is also moving a shite load more water than it was before so also have this on AC refrigeration uh, display rather than basic that way I, the suction's on the left discharge on the right it's marked low pressure high pressure these next two readings are the actual, you know, conversions. Then T1 and T2. T1 is going to be the uh, water going in. T2 is the water coming out. Superheat subcooling is going to be meaningless. And the supply air is about 73-ish. So let's uh, get this sucker turned on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, running, let's just cross our fingers that that pump stays running. Is the pump running? No, it quit. It quit. It freaking quit. 
as soon as I started this unit, that freaking water pump quit. I am so mad. Worse than a Goodman. Ugh. Dang, this sucks. All this work, and I'm just stuck. I don't want to go spend 200 bucks or whatever it is on a pump. You know, this is supposed to be, this do it yourself supposed to be recycle everything. For now, at least. Don't want to invest any money in it. Damn pump, I just kind of kicked it or whatever. It just came back on. All right, let's try this again. Water's still running. I'm not, didn't turn on the picture in picture at this point. I don't have time for that. We're just gonna see what it does. Pump is running. The temperature's going. Okay, uh, 70 section, 189 discharge. 75 degree water, 82 water discharge. Now, of course, that water's gonna be warmer than that. The probe's gonna have some delay to it. So it takes a little while for the probes to catch up. And suppliers down to 58. I just have the... Uh Ooh, 316, my water pump quit. Man, almost dropped the F bomb. Freaking Goodman. This thing must be made by Goodman, I swear. <laughs> if it would have just not started the last time, I wouldn't have freaking turned it back on and wasted my time. Ugh. Something's gonna get that that thing, I'm gonna wind up taking that thing out in the desert and shooting it with extreme prejudice. I will waste the ammo, given that we have the beer virus going on. I don't care. And I'll put a Goodman sticker on it when I do. So I was just putting away all my tools. I just remembered, well, I think I have a couple cooler pumps stashed somewhere. Use one of those in desperation. It might, it, I think it has more volume because I actually did that. That's what I used before, years ago, to test uh, my theory. So I just pulled this out. I'm like, ooh, these move pretty good amount of water. But then I lifted that one up and guess what I saw underneath? <laughs> I had one of these all uh, long. And if it was in there, it should work. Anyway, my frustrations with this pump, which will be given the surname of Goodman and be properly destroyed in an upcoming video. So with that, in this video and then part four I believe it will be we'll try this again